guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting Rain to episode 25 of Ascendance of a Bookworm. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Now the way this last week's episode ended, we all know that was a big cliffhanger, not really. But, mmm. And then him, he's just an ass. Look up ass in the dictionary. Picture of him and so many other different characters. But I just, the biggest thing is, I want to know why he's arrogant. I mean, this is the first time, well, no, last week was the first time we got to see this character. And because of the fact that we only have one episode left, you can't fit that in unless it gets, you know, an official second season, because this is still all season one. I'm just saying, um, unless they maybe want to do a movie, or um, an hour-long special OVA to, like, maybe wrap up a lot of unanswered questions that we never really truly got to see, it's up to them. We ain't really gonna know until next Saturday, but at the same time, I'm sad, because it went by too freaking quickly. <laughs> like, way too quickly. And freaking Frida had no appearance in the second half of the show. And honestly, I don't really like that because I thought she was going to be um, at least a little more of a um, either recurring or supporting role to be there for Maya and Mitch. But I get it. You can't have everybody, you know, be in the show. But you know, it sucks. Hell, I'm gonna miss listening to this song every Saturday. It was like the best thing. Oh god, next week's gonna suck. <laughs> so bad. Excuse me. Yeah, but that's not nice, though. No such dicks. Fine.
I feel like I'm watching the third Harry Potter film, honestly, because the Tarambe looks like the Weeping Willow. It makes the most sense. <laughs> yeah, though, I mean, she's a kid. <laughs> So you're telling me he used to be a nurse? Okay. <laughs> well, you know, you never asked, and we never thought of it unless you read the series. I'm like, man, I don't read anything. But it just shows you, or and also really tells you that we don't really know that much about him. He says little things that we get to know, but like high priestess, I feel like you are he's one sided as of right now that we barely really just don't know ish about him. That was a little too easy. Your country's asshole. Oh my god. What is your problem? You don't have to say anything then if you don't want to, right? Why are you a higher knight than him? Don't be an ass. Well, no, too late. You already are. You're not really going to do this. Mm -hmm.
Is that supposed to happen? No, it's your fault for cutting her. But how can he get to you, though? How can anyone else get to you? Bruh, what is this episode? I mean... Please hurry. It was because she, when she got cut and the blood... Mm-mm. Well, why don't you guys do with the green hair, blood, and yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's how that happened. Should be glad to tell you. <laughs> you know, if it was me, I'd have been like, it's all his fault. <laughs> he did it. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Yeah, I'll take the blame as well, but, you know, he cut her. Hold me shortly, though. Please. It should be able to work now. So just try. That's the one with the green hair. Really?
just like better medicine. God. So. Tell the truth, you'll be fine. So, come on. Mm, it's your word against them. Is it you? And that was the fact mine. And you failed. She's more than that, though. Okay, I mean, like... <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> Always prove them wrong. Egg. You'll do fine. Do not. <laughs> you put two weeks continue. What is with these cliffhangers today? My God! First, <laughs> first my next life as a villain is, and now this show. I mean, okay. Since we also got one episode left with it, I get the fact that they're gonna wait to show what mine is actually really gonna do. Okay, in my opinion, the brown haired guy who did look away from the green haired guy. I don't think he should get as in trouble as much as the green haired guy. I mean, yes, he looked away. But he still was able to get mine out of the drama. So, in my opinion, he should maybe, like, go down a rank. That's it. And then he could possibly, you know, do something to be back to the rank that he was. Green hair guy should just be exiled. You shouldn't be a knight anymore. Go do something else now. You exile. Go find another place to live. I don't know. I mean, but if the head priest said... Don't lay a harm on her, no matter what. Not even a scratch, nothing. And she got a scratch on her. That's it. But the fact is that her blood activated Sarambe, that's fucking nuts. I mean, I don't think that's ever happened before. It's like the first time. And so it just felt like this Rambe was in a way, using her emotions because it wasn't, like, the typical one, not even, like, the one that they were going against. It was a little more stronger, and it felt like it was feeding off of her, and because she was, you know, scared, maybe a little bit angry, whatever, dreamlike world. Like <laughs> yeah, it's just bitter medicine. But with this last episode, I mean, can you really wrap it up? Like, anything that we need in 23 minutes? Yeah, and then also a little bit of no, because looking at almost every series, like, mm, I'm going to go from, like, the day I started watching anime till now. I'll do from reaction. So, from 2016 up to now to every anime that I've watched as an anime reaction and getting to the last episodes and typically when a show gets to the last episode it's like the last few moments of anything maybe some unanswered questions that we personally didn't get answered in the first half may get answered in this last episode maybe maybe not it's 50 50 um but i think it's gonna end good it probably will leave us with a lot of unanswered questions that we'll never really get to see the light of day unless we have to read the source material typically it usually is like that except with one series that i'm into that is possibly I think is getting a sequel. I don't really remember, but I think with this, it's really going to be like once this show is over, um, who knows if it could get a second season, um, an hour on OVA, OVA or something, just to see where she ends up. Even though she'll still be with the high priestess and she'll be able to go, um, I keep saying priestess, priest, um, and being able to go home, I would have liked to see. This is things that I'm still kind of hoping by the end of this last episode. Um, the baby coming because I mean you show it and then that's it I mean it's the last episode anything could literally be shown by next week and I honestly really have no clue but whatever the heck is gonna happen seeing mine you know finally do possibly maybe the most overpowered mood that she's gonna do next week I think that's gonna be awesome as hell but other than that, guys, that was my reaction review towards episode 25 of Ascendance of the Bookworm. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially on next Saturday for the finale. Bye, guys.